Hello, good morning everybody. Um, hi Megan First and Elizabeth and Andrea and Margaret and Karina and Karen and Mandy and Megan again. Oh, the flower looks lovely. Um, and Sharon, Alison, hello. Um, Alana and Jackie and Lynn and Jill and Jean and Beverly and Helen and I'll be busy again this morning. Um, hello Colleen on YouTube. Um, Amanda's in Georgia in the USA. Hello to you. Hello, Christelle. Um, hi, Susan. Right, this is what we're going to be making today. And it's a project from um, my So Outdoor Living book, which I will take you through in, in just a second. I'll show you that in there. Um, I've done it in red, white and blue, which could be for our Jubilee. It could be for my birthday, July the 4th. Um, it could be... Um, if you're in France, um, but Bastille Day, January the 14th, uh, July the 14th. Um, but of course you don't have to do it in red, white and blue. You can make it in any fabrics you like. And in the book, um, I've just used floral fabrics, so, so quite quite plain. So I've just kind of done a, something a little bit different with this one. But we'll have a look at that. <clears throat> Thank you, Linda, a bit better. Um, we'll have a look at that in a bit because I want to show you we're launching Mandy Shaw's new fabrics this morning and I want to show you these um, straight away because I don't think they're going to last and in fact we've got more stock on order so hopefully that will be coming in next week just to warn you. Oh Sue's not feeling brilliant today. Oh. Um, oh I hope you get better soon so we're thinking of you. Uh, morning Barbara. Hi Sharon. Alana's got a pink parcel this morning, lovely. First of all, I know these are going to go. Um, we've got quite a few, but they're not going to last. These are Mandy's panels. Um, you get all of this, the whole panel. There's eight squares on there in total. It's just over half a metre in length. And I'll show you from up above. Um, each one of these squares is 25 centimetres or thereabouts. So I'm just going to move things so I can see what I'm doing and I need to be that way a bit. <clears throat> Had a bit of a, a rejig around the studio. Got some new shelving. I spent all yesterday afternoon putting together shelves and cupboards from Ikea. Hate flat packs, but they look amazing when they're done. Um, I was chatting to Mandy last, last time I was at Sewing Street and I was congratulating her on her first fabric range and this is with Henry Glass. Um, so, you know, she, she goes to the best for her fabrics. Um, and these are all of her drawings. She keeps um, a, a lot of her drawings and sketches she will have on her website um, as, as projects. And she tends to do um, like hand stitching. It's all red work. And she does like um, uh, transfers onto fabrics and things like that. So she's been through her diary of sketches and had them all made into panels, as you can see here. Um, so you can make small cushions with them. You can make one large cushion with four panels on each one. They'd make nice little bags, drawstring bags maybe. They'd make nice wall hangings. And it's Henry Glass fabric, so it's really lovely quality as well. Mandy's so excited about these. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to dob her in now. Because Mandy has got these on her website, and she's more expensive than us. I hope she wasn't watching that. Um, she's actually launching these on Sewing Street tomorrow. I think they'll be, I, well, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing them for, but uh, just to let you know, we've got them there first. Um, it's red, Leslie. Does it, does it look pink? It's definitely red, a really good, strong red. Mandy's very fussy about her reds. If you've, uh, if you've ever seen any of her work before, her red work is very, very definitely red. Um, so that's the panel. And then we've got the fabrics by the half metre. So I'll show you these up here as well. And I'll, I'll, try, and, I'll try and remember what they're called. I'll, you know, I know I won't be able to. Um, so I'm going to have a look on the website. So this one is va uh, vases and sewing machine line work. Um, I'm looking for vases. Don't see any vases. Anyway, that's what that one's called. Uh, this one is Buttons Line Work. Lovely lady, Mandy. I've known her for donkey's years. She, she's, she's such a lovely lady. Loads of fun. 
this one is oh no this one's the, ah this one is the vases and sewing machines sorry so vases and sewing machines this one is sewing motifs so it's there the range is called uh, say it with a stitch sewing motifs and vases and sewing machines and buttons line work and then the final one we have for you here is <clears throat> so I can't remember what that was called um, patchwork sewing motifs and sayings so at the moment we've just got those four available for you um, and of course the panel as well but I just thought I'd get, I'd get in there and show you those before we start sewing anything because um, I'm giving you priority they've literally only just gone onto the website and um, yeah I, I, I know they're going to be really really popular um, hi Sandy in New Zealand um, hi Lisa, Harrison the cat attempting to help me type. <laughs> um, they are gorgeous, aren't they? Um, sorry, who was that? Julie. Yeah, they are lovely. Um, morning, Linda. Just going to the vote with Coco. Oh, if you if we're still here when you get back, then let us know how how you get on with her. Hello, Doris in New Jersey. Um, just down the road, have a couple of grandkids living in Australia. Um, feeling a bit better. Lovely and sunny in Swindon. IKEA wardrobes are coming today. I have to wait. I've had, I've had this shop. They're, they're huge. Um, I've got three units with, with shelves and cupboards underneath. We've actually had them for a couple of weeks. I've just been putting off putting them together. But it was a nice day yesterday, so I took them outside, um, outside the studio and sat and made them up out there. Yes. Um, Olive, the, um, the fabric is Mandy Shaw for Henry Glass. So we've not actually stocked Henry Glass fabrics before. I don't. Oh, we have. Yeah, we have some Christmas fabrics once, um, but we haven't had a lot of it. And it's. Just, I don't know why. It's really lovely quality. Um, but yeah, Mandy Shaw S H A W. If you wanted to look her up, she's an expert quilter, um, but she does all of these little designs for herself. It's her first fabric range. Um, and she's just, oh, she's just, she's just loads of fun, Mandy is. Um, again, she will be launching this on Sewing Street tomorrow morning, but we got it first. Um, oh no, Jen, had to do some housework. I'm suffering from a hangover. No. <laughs> um, Mother's Day tomorrow in Australia, is it, Christine? Or oh, happy Mother's Day for tomorrow. I didn't know that. Um, Oh yeah, Olive's got a few of her books. Yeah, she's written um, a few books, haven't she? Stitching Time. Um, can't remember. Yeah, she has. So anyway, that's that's that. Um, hi, Debbie in Melbourne. But I think particularly this panel. Oh, actually, if you're making a quilt, wouldn't that make, oh, well, just one of those, make a nice centre? Um, so a centre block, and then maybe use some of the other fabrics to kind of sash around it. Oh, talking of quilts, I wanted to show you something as well. I had a couple of questions about um, the um, Lewis and Irene Hannah's flowers quilt because uh, occasionally Lewis and Irene will give us a project, a complete project that they use their fabric for and I had a, a question about where to find it so I wanted to show you where to find it so if I just move myself out of the way and go to the website so this is our website, uh, mine and Kim's um, if you go to Brands, click on that, go to Lewis and Irene and then scroll down until you see the Hannah's Flowers bundle, uh, which is this one. So Lewis and Irene Hannah's Flowers 16 piece bundle. Click on that and that's the quilt and the link to it is here. So when you click on the link, that goes to Lewis and Irene, and you've got, um, there we go, Make Me, so you click on that one, that opens up a PDF, and there you've got all of your step-by-step -step instructions and materials list and, and everything on how you're going to make that one. So I hope, I hope that's helped for those that were um, looking for it and couldn't find it anywhere. So I can, I'm just rearranging myself back again now. There we go. Um, hi, Jane. Um, Geraldine's been house-sitting and dog-sitting. Seven dogs? Seven dogs! Oh, heaven. I've, I think I've, st I've still got the sexy voice, Geraldine, and I've got a nose like a tap, but feeling a lot better. Thank you. 
Um, hi Mary, Janet, hello Chrissy in Australia. Um, Julie's watching her grandson as well. Hi Kay, hi Linda, hi Elsie. Um, right, so that, that's those. So I only got on the website this morning. <coughs> so, um, but I don't think they're going to last too long, to be honest. They're lovely. But if you do miss out, we have got some more on order, don't worry. Thank you, Debbie. Really pleased with the new website. It's really quick, it's really efficient, and it's a lot easier behind the scenes for us to work as well. Um, Australind and Austra and oh, Aust sorry, I missed the I missed the end of your your word. I thought you said Australia. Australind in Aust in in Aust oh, it is Australind. Ali in Australind in Australia apparently. Um, I haven't done anything actually, Lisa. No, I was, I was thinking when I was washing my hair this morning. I was thinking I um, really need to get it cut. Oh, thank you. Um, nothing ever lasts that long when you use or show it. I know, I know. We, uh, we keep ordering more and more. We've, we need bigger premises, to be honest, Jen. Um, so this is what we're going to make. I'll show you the um, the one that was in to book as well. So that's that one. Um, I think it's page 48. Oops. So the idea with this... There we go. Um... I was thinking um, garden parties, just summer garden parties, nothing, you know, birthday parties and things like that. Um, these I use plant pots. I think they were four inches across, hadn't got one. So that's actually a candle, an old candle holder that I spray painted white. Um, I've just used, I, in fact, I bought some sticks from Hobbycraft, uh, loads of them in a packet. And those, I think they're just, are they nine inches? eight inches they're eight inch long sticks so i've still got loads of those left over from the book actually um and i've used pebbles in the bottom of that now with this one and this one i filled it with pebbles and then decorated with buttons over the top so it's nice and sturdy it's not going to fall over and that's really solid inside it um, but i ran out of red white and blue buttons so this time i've actually whoops, spray painted some pebbles white um, so I spray painted the pot because that was bright red and I spray painted some pebbles um, So you're just going to see those on the top. So I'm not using lots of buttons um, But this one is all is things to Decorate your outside living space, which is perfect for this time of year Because um, we like to spend more time outdoors so there's, you know, you've got bunting and a bunting bag to keep it in. The plant pot covers I thought were a nice idea. A lot of us have got uh, plastic plant pots or ugly plant pots. Obviously you're not going to leave those out all year round, but if you do have, you know, if you're having a barbecue and the neighbours around or anything, then it's nice to brighten up your garden a little bit. Um, there's lots of different types of cushions, box cushions, bolster cushions. And of course you don't have to just use these outdoors, the tic-tac-toe toe game for the kids. Um, you can use them indoors as well. So barbecue tool roll, there's an apron there, um, picnic caddy. So that's that's the book anyway, that's where it came from. But this is the one that we're going to make. So it's a little bit different. Um, I think I've ordered all the new Henry Glass, but not sure. There's, f there's five of the Milana, including the panel. So four fa fabrics and then the panel as well. Um, Oh, Susan's got the viscose fabric. Which one have you gone for? How lovely. Oh, oh hi, Alan. Um, that was my good idea for the day. Did you have a good idea? You, oh, using, oh, hi, um, Brenda. Um, Leanna, hello. A wedding, it'd be lovely for a wedding table because you can make them in any kind of fabric that you like. And they're ever so easy. Nice, nice kind of thing to get the kids involved as well. Um, oh, Debbie's thinking about making them for the wedding centrepieces. Nice idea, that would be. Um, or you could put, depending on, on what kind of theme you're having, you could maybe put some little pearls in the bottom instead of the buttons. Um, for perfect sticks to make a cotton reel holder, they just happen to be in a packet of marshmallow. <laughs> um, just, just doing in... Sorry, I missed that one. Um, thank you, Caroline. Right. I may, I may need to blow my nose. If I do, I'm going to mute my mic so you don't hear that because you don't want to listen to that. So that if I go silent for a minute, that's why. Anyway, scraps of fabric, piece of paper, 
and I'm going to make a heart shape. If you've got the book already, there is a heart template in the back of the book. Um, but I'm going to make one because I'm not forcing you to go out and buy the book to make it. Just looking for a pen. So <clears throat> let me just remeasure that four and a half inches. Okay. So take one's paper, make a fold. The centerpiece is four and a half inches. Now this is up to you how you're going to do this. Um, all I did was cut out the shape by eye and just cut around it. Um, what you could do if you're not too confident in doing that, so I'm just looking for a ribbon reel, which you can never find when you want it. And I know I've got loads here. There we go. Place your ribbon reel against the edge of your fabric, um, of your paper, draw around it. Whoops, pen's running out. Got another one. And then draw from that line down to the point. Now that doesn't look as though it's going in enough there, so I'm just going to move that around like that. And then, um, Melinda, we've got the book on the website, on my website, unless it's sold out already, on debbieshawsewing.com, or you can try Amazon, um, or you can go to the Search Press website. Who are my publishers? And there's my heart. Um, if you want a book signing, um, personally, well, at, at all, then you need to order from uh, my website, from debbieshawsewing.com. Sorry, just need to blow my nose. Um, sorry, quick interlude there. Um, that's the only place you're going to get it signed if you want it signed. So that's debbieshawsewing.com. Um, if you wanted a bit of a discount, then you can go to the Search Press website, my publisher's website, and order there. And if you use the code DD105, you'll get 20% discount. And if you spend over £20, you get it postage free. That's only in the UK, I'm afraid. Um, so, Melinda, I don't know where you are, but hopefully that's helped. But so Amazon Worldwide, you'll be able to get that anywhere. Um, hi Lorna. Hi Claire. Thank you. Oh, Carol's in the dentist waiting room. I should be there on Tuesday. Um, so let's do it. Let's make the heart first. So this one I've used strips of fabric. So <coughs> get the cutting mat up and we'll just cut those into strips. So a nice way of using up scraps as well if you've got any bits and bobs that I don't know about you, but with a scrap fabric, I tend to have so much of it. I do give a lot of it away because um, I never make anything from it. And I just I never throw it away and I just keep storing and storing. And then <laughs> you just end up with drawers full of fabric that you're never going to use. So I'm not going to cut these into a specific width, but around about an inch and a half. And I'll just cut those into strips. I don't throw the little bits away either. I give those away. Um, we'll see if that's enough. We can always go back if not. And the blue. And again, it doesn't have to be red, white and blue. It can be any colour you like. Yellow and green. Black and white. Maybe it's your favourite team's colours. And of course you can use scissors, you don't have to chop with a rotary cutter. I think that should be enough there. And then I've got white. Oh, the royal blue, by the way, is a new colour on the website. Um, we've got turquoise there as well. We've got lots of back in stock of the plain colours. If you're running short on planes, then do have a look what we have for you. There are loads. Off with the selvage, don't need that. And let's just, oh, that needs sharpening. Cut a few more strips of that. All right. And then we're going to sew these together at a jaunty angle. So let's bring in tip machine. <laughs> let's throw that over there. 
get this out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Right. Um, the little pot, Liana, the, the, mine, this one was, um, it's actually a glass candle holder. Um, so I just happen to have that. If you have a look on, on our website, we've got some very small ones. They're two inches. So they're a little bit smaller than this. As long as you put lots of pebbles in the bottom, then that'll be fine. They'll be weighty enough. You will be able to use those. I don't think I've got one knocking around to show you how big they are. But we do have a few on the website. Um, if you wanted bigger ones, um, I'll just try Amazon or garden centres. Maybe B&Q or somewhere like that would have them. Um, right, so let's sew these together. So I'll start with the red. And I'm going to put a white at an angle across there. I'm not worried about a particular seam allowance or the fact that this isn't straight doesn't matter on this and foot's dropped off the machine that's a first and then we'll sew that's it so we've got that so we're going to open that up finger finger crease it open I will iron it all before we cut out the heart then I'm going to take a blue strip and put this at the opposite angle so like that and sew down this edge as a club member says cubs sickens cubs um, I was wondering if I start the first block of the month so it's good for a virgin quilt will it still be on the website next May um, yes it will um, all of the projects on the half yard club stay there for two years apart from the block of the month which don't get taken down um, so yes it, it will still be there so if it takes you that long to make it that's absolutely fine um, it will still be there next May as will all of the others so you've actually got four blocks of the month so far that are still available for you there so i'm just going to carry on with these um sewing together in strips so i'll show you how we're looking i know jana i'm, I'm sounding quite <laughs> quite masculine with this voice i think I, I want to keep it um let's go across at that angle And so down there. I need to move my camera over a bit. And I'm going to sew enough strips together to make um, enough for both patterns to go on top of each other. So I'm just going to keep going with this. Um, I missed a white out, didn't I? Never mind. I'm surprised you didn't shout at me for that one. <laughs> um, Maddie and Robin. Oh, um, Maddie's staying, Mary. Um, I'm assuming Robin is. I'm not in charge of things like that. I do, I do know that because of uh, how popular she was, um, they decided to keep Maddie there. So I'm, I'm assuming that Robin will be there as well. I'll double check on that one and I shall get back to you. All right, let's have another one there. You get the gist of this, don't you? You don't need to save every single stitch. Um, what would be nice as well, maybe if you've got some ribbon or some trim that you could add to the top of it. So you could make it very glitzy. If you're going to do this for the centre of a table, you could have bits of lace and hand sew beads to it afterwards and all kind of thing. Um, Julius, I got a pink parcel, lovely. And um, I hope great to see you. I hope you're feeling much better. Thank you, Anne. Feeling those better. St still there, still feeling a little bit like I've been kicked in the head, but you know, people worse off than me, aren't they? There you see, Mr. White. <laughs> yeah, Beverly, I was doing something abstract, um, Beverly. That's that's what I was. That's what I was doing. Um, hello Colette, she's late, yeah, we were talking about, you were saying where's Colette, bet she's doing her housework, 
Um, hi, Peter. First time here. Hello. Welcome along, Peter. Nice to have you. Um, been learning to sew for the last month. So far, I did a quilted tablecloth and machine mat and a shopping bag. Wow, that's not bad going for somebody that's just learning to sew. Um, yeah, it is a, a bit rough, Myra, but we get in there. Um, right, but we'll stay there. Let's just keep going. <clears throat> of course, you can use um, very small strips if you've got the time and patience. Could you actually use ribbon, just strips of ribbon, if you've got lots to use. Um, I, I can't do a, a video at the moment, Megan. Um, maybe later on I'll try and do one. I've run out of pots, to be honest. Um, Laura can't wait for a pink parcel to arrive itself after my holiday. Oh, you're back, aren't you? It's gone. Um, you should have had your um, notification from DPD because it went out on yesterday. So I think, I don't know DPD whether they deliver everywhere on a Saturday because I, I do next day delivery um, and some people get it on a Saturday and some people don't. So hopefully you're going to get yours on Monday if you haven't got it already. Uh, little bucket. I think they'd be fine, Gina. If, you, if you've got some of the little buckets left, yeah, I think I think the little buckets would be great. This one's it's the same size. It's two inches across. It's just a little bit taller. Hadn't got any buckets here, else I could have done that. Um, oh, thank you, Beverly. She says she loves all I do. <laughs> Should have started on this one before, shouldn't I? You're just watching me sewing straight lines. Well, at least you don't pay for it. Hmm. Started quilting trees with rulers, Karina says. Um, DPD deliver on Sundays too. Yeah, Megan, I know your dad works there, doesn't he? Um, some people tend to get them on a Saturday and some people, they wait till Monday. It must be areas, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Kim, Kim and Dave, hello, the bag behind me. Um, that is, in fact, both of these are down... <laughs> <laughs> so I shall tell you I'm laughing at in a second. Um, both of those bags are downloads on the website. There's no patterns with them, so they're only two pounds ninety nine. Um, projects that do have patterns are going to be a little bit more because we have a graphic designer to design those. But with the with the step by steps, there's not so much work involved. Um, so yeah, two ninety nine download. What I was laughing at that little mouse that Lisa made me. Um, at Christmas time, makes an appearance all over the place, and uh, Gary takes great delight in finding a hiding place for it. I just wondered if you'd spotted it, Lisa. <laughs> yes, wasn't wasn't expecting that. Um, oh, Dorothy's got a delay on a Wi-Fi. We're pretty good here today, actually. Actually, if you haven't. Got a pot cover, a large yogurt carton would work. That's a nice idea. Again, it's, that would be quite lightweight, but do make sure you put something heavy in the bottom of it. I think I'm nearly done with this. I'll just do a couple more. Yeah, not, not so much looking out of the messenger bag, Lisa, as <laughs> falling into the messenger. Let me take her out. Come here. Honestly, sit you there. You left her feet sticking out. <laughs> right. Almost done. How many videos are in the Half Yard Club? I only found one more. What am I doing wrong? There'll be a video. Shall I sh let me show you for every project on the Half Yard Club. I'll come back to that in just a second. Um, let me get on to it, Half Yard Club, and there we go. Um, so, I'm signed in here already. So if you go to Sewing Projects, these are all of the projects that you have. Not all of them have a video to go with them, but they're one, of, uh, one a month will have a video to go Ooh. with it. So the main projects. So for instance, the sewing machine bag from December, that will have a video Oh, has that got a video to it? Yeah, there's your video, right underneath it. Um, so you should, and when, you, it, when you're logged in, you'll see all of this. When you go to the laptop bag, um, that has a video because it was the main project. So there's the video right underneath it. Um, 
you should have 24 projects. That's the box top. Oh, I think, no, that was a secondary project. The main one had short sleeves, but that would have had a video with it. So that should be further down. The reversible kimono has a video. So they're right underneath there. So you should see, oh, let's see what you've been making. Oh, look at you. Oh, <laughs> let's see your faces. These are lovely. Oh, look at that. Oh. So I'm on the Half Yard Sewing Club website now, by the way. Um, if you haven't seen it before, I'm looking at the, um, the members' pictures pages. Oh, let's have a look at the latest one, the skirt. I haven't looked at this one yet. Um, this is the, um, the project that went on this month, so it's only been there for a week. And Oh, you have. You've been busy making it look. Oh, I love the length of that one. Made it into a maxi. I don't know who these are. I can't see any names, I'm afraid. But thank you for these. That's lovely fabric, isn't it? Wow. Oh, oh, that looks lovely. I'd like to be there. So, yes, you will have a video um, once a month. So, you because you, you've got two years' worth, there should be 24 videos on there. So, hopefully... Um, Hopefully, who, uh, sorry, your message has disappeared, but whoever asked, that, that's where your videos are. You should have all of those. Um, oh, thank you, Joanne. She's been show, sewing for over 50 years, and I love that you come up with so many different things that I've never thought to make of several of your books, too. Thank you. I do run out of ideas sometimes. And other times I'm up at 3 o'clock in the morning thinking, I can make that. Um, me in the yellow, come on over. <laughs> Brenda, have you, have you been, are you flirting? <laughs> coffee, I know, it's, you're right, coffee is due. I think he's, um, he's doing some ph photography for Kim at the moment. Let me just see if I've got enough here for this to fit. So one, I think that will do. Will that be enough? One, two, one for the front, one for the back. So I'm going to give that a press now. Um, right, so I need to put the iron on. What is it with having a cold that makes you forget things? Like obvious words and what you're about to say. Um, can I make the skirt in cotton instead of viscose? You certainly can, Lisa. I'd go for quite a fine cotton, though. Um, maybe a, a cotton lawn, something, something quite floaty. Um, unless you want it, I mean, suppose you can make it in wool if you wanted to, you know, I think in winter time, if you wanted to really have it. Yes, you can make it in cotton. Absolutely. Um, I'd go for a dressmaking cotton, like a poplin or a lawn, because it's wider. Um, quilting cotton tends to be 112 centimetres wide, whereas um, a lawn or a poplin would be anywhere up to 160 centimetres wide, so you get, get more fabric that way. Um, you don't need to trim the fabric from the back of the striped material. Oh, you could actually could do, could do. Let's do that. Good idea, Jill. While I'm waiting for the iron to heat up, just should we trim the fabric back? And yeah, let's do that. I didn't on the other one, but you know. Right, that's up there. I've sewn that into the next one. I have that one as well, look. Actually, that might help a little bit with white fabric particularly because um, sometimes the darker colours can show through to the white side. So good idea, Jill. Should have should have thought of that myself. Well, let's just do it anyway. That'll do. Okay, now I'm going to press it. That goes in the bin, those go to fee. And I'm just going to press them all in the same direction. It doesn't really matter. What have I missed, Debbie? Debbie and Brenda. How did you come up with the idea of Wonky Street? Um, do you know, I can't, I can't remember. Um, I just fancied... I, I like... The houses came up first, Megan. Um, and I, I have made... Um, it was in... 
half yard gifts I think I made a little street of houses of cottages um, and made them into a draft excluder or you could have them as an ornament that went into a window but they were they were all quite square but they were all kind of uneven um, so some tall and thin and some wide and fat um, and I, I love that I've, I've made quite a few of those and uh, then I thought well if I make them all a little bit wonky that that makes it really quirky oh I tell you what else I did as well there was a sewing machine cover in my sewing room accessories book I think I'd, I've, I've got 26 books out I can't remember what's in all of them but I think that was in there and they were the same kind of thing going over a hill in, in a plique with free motion embroidery and they were all a little bit wonky because they were on a hill that was that shape um, so it kind of came from there because I, I, I just like that kind of look so I thought maybe a whole street of them and then maybe some wonky people and um, I'm toying with the idea of some wonky fabric at some point but I don't have enough days in the week at the moment uh, really dark in Surrey. Oh no, rain on the way. I'll keep it down there, Deirdre, if you don't mind. <laughs> Lisa's, Lisa's playing symbols. <laughs> um, and the half hour projects are due to come off after two years. W. Yes, I do. You do get you, you get a warning um, because it's at that point that the QR codes go on. So just back to half hour club again. Um, after the two years, please subscribe to the newsletters. Um, I think when you, let me log out and show you, um, when you first um, go to the website and you fill in all of your details, it will ask you, um, I don't know if I can do it really quickly here, I would like to receive a newsletter, so you fill in all of your details down here, um, agree to your terms and conditions, all that kind of thing, and write down at the bottom, I would like to receive news newsletters, project information and offers from the Half Yard Sewing Club. Now, we're not going to bombard you with, um, with marketing and offers and things like that. You get one newsletter a month um, and it'll be at the end of the month just to um, let you know what's happening. So let you know what the next project is going to be, when it's going to be there. If there are any special offers, and there are special offers every month um, on books and things like that. Um, but we also let you know which projects are going to be coming down that month. So all of that's in the newsletter. When you go to the project that's coming down, there will be a QR code. So you can um, scan and save scan the QR code that'll take you to a Vimeo video and you can save the link to that video so that's yours then and um, save the link we, we've done it this way rather than you downloading the videos because if you're downloading a video every single month then that's going to be taking up space on your PC or your tablet or however you're watching so we've done it as you save the link so all you need to do is go to the link if you don't have a scanner um, on your smartphone or your tablet then just uh, we, we give you the the link address as well the Vimeo website address so you can save the link that. Um, but those only come up as the projects are going down. So if, if do subscribe because um, that's how you're going to get all of those notifications. Um, it's gorgeous in Devon, says Lisa. It's gorgeous here as well, actually. All right. My erasable pen didn't work, did it? Let me try this one. So I'm just going to draw around the outside of the heart now. <laughs> really? You'll be gone soon then, Gary. Um, right, let's pop that on there and just draw around the edge and then we'll do it again. And I think that pen's working, isn't it? Yeah, perfect. We'll do it again down there. Could do it that way. That makes, that's better. So if you wanted to add any trims or ribbons or anything like that, um, you can do it at this stage. If you're going to add anything like beads and buttons, then I'd leave that till after and hand sew those on after you've finished it. Okay. Let's cut these two out. Um, scissors are back in stock, by the way. And Rita, I'm making this. It's just a table decoration. I'm doing it in the red, white and blue, but you can do it in any colour that you like. Um, but you know, you've, you've, you've got the heart shape here. You could use this technique for reverse applique. Um, there are actually some table runners, uh, sorry, table mats in the book. Let's see if I can find those. 
Um, <clears throat> page 18, reversibly K table mats using a heart again. So you could use this technique and put it behind the heart. Um, I've made a few different ones there with different ideas, but if you wanted them all to match, then you, you could do that as well. That's just, just another thought for you. The mid-month project is a, um, a tool belt, Megan. Um, I haven't got it to show you, but it is a, it's a belt, and then it's just got a, a pocket on one side with pockets inside it so you can shove stuff in there. Because sometimes your pockets just aren't deep enough. So it could be for sewing, it could be for your, um, I don't know, your, your housework tools, your cleaning stuff. Could be to use in the garden. And it's left all right-handed as well. And then next month, I know we're only just in May, we're doing tie top line curtains. So you can see how varied the projects are. A little bit of homewares, a little bit of bag making, something for yourself, something to gift. Novelty things, toys, quilting, there's all sorts on that website. For $5.99 a month. You pay more than that for one pattern for a skirt, wouldn't you? Hmm. Um, at the Festival of Quilts. Um, I don't know, Vanda, at the moment. We haven't got any plans to go. We might go and visit if we're not too busy. We just don't tend to have a lot of free time these days. I'm just cutting that blue back a little bit because that was showing through to the white side. Okay, I've got me two hearts. I'm just going to turn my iron off while I think about it. If you click on the little mark at the side of PLC makes them sight, it tells you the name of who made Oh! Oh, does it? Right, let me try that. Um... So I'm going back to, let me sign in there. Oh, that's going to take me a second because I'm on a different, I'm on a different thing. I've got to have a look at that, I didn't know that. Whoops. No, I wasn't doing that, I was doing that. Oh, that's my iron gone, and then that, okay. Um, so... Signed in. I want to have a look at that. Let's see. So back over there. So if I go to skirt and then so it's going a bit slow and then click on that and then if I click on the little mark at the side of the PC that oh, I can't see a little mark, Gina. I haven't got a little mark. I'll have to have a look on my phone. So it's, it's not working on there. I did see who they were. Anyway. So. That's a good idea, Chris. Using that to stuff the heart would be a very good idea. She's using the scraps of fabric up. Um, Oh, Elsie loves the Half Yard Club, she says. Oh, thank you. Um, no, I don't have a pattern for wide leg trousers at the moment, Joyce. Um, oh, yeah, the core bond scissors. Yes, we've been out of stock for a while, but we have stock back in again now. They're, they're fabulous scissors, and they're really not very expensive at all. Let you know I made the back wing top, but the neck band gave, so I made it shorter, and it's that lovely and flat. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Thanks for letting me know. I think I did put that in the instructions, didn't I? Because it depends what kind of fabric you're using. Some of it lays flat and some of it doesn't for some reason. Um, crumb quilting, that's a good idea as well. Never throw anything away. Right, I'm going to sew all the way around the edge. So, small stitch. I've got a 2.2 on this machine. Anything that I stuff, I tend to use a small stitch because it makes the seam stronger. When you come down to the point, stop sew a stitch across and then carry on and I don't know why but it helps the point to remain pointy when you do that now there's also in um, a half yard heaven book and there is a YouTube video for a string of hearts um, which are it's a decoration again but it's um, I've just taken out missed any um, 
it's, it's like a, a, a big heart, a medium one, and then a small one. They just hang on a string. That would be nice to hang, wouldn't it? Maybe in a window or something like that. Okay. So let's snip into the point. Like that. They are left or right-handed. Yes. Um, so Lynn's talking to Beverly. Um, they're not shaped to one hand or the other. I did buy some um, left-handed scissors by mistake once upon a time, uh, being right-handed, and uh, they actually hurt. And I thought at the time, gosh, if you're left-handed, there aren't that many manufacturers of left-handed scissors. I know Fiskars do them. Um, so it must be really painful if you're doing a lot of cutting with right-handed scissors. Um, a buyer's cami top pattern to go with a buyer's skirt. That's a nice idea, dear. The thing with camis, um, that it's difficult to make a cami to measure for yourself because there, there's no actual pattern for the skirt, like with the back wind top. Um, but with a cami, if, you're, if you've got a larger bust, then darts are going to be a good idea. So to try and explain how to measure yourself and how to position a dart is a bit difficult without an actual pattern, but I shall put some thought into it. The mark at the side of the little picture at the bottom. I'm not going to switch you off, I'm just having at the mark at the side of the picture at the bottom. I haven't got a mark. I shall look into this later. Now then, before you scream at me, I haven't left a turning gap. Um, lots of angry faces today. Why have we got angry faces? Who's got angry faces? can't say any angry face. Hopefully angry faces are, are, are a mistake. I don't know why we get angry faces. If you don't like it, you switch off, don't you? Um, ooh, it is painful, Beverly says. She's caught a hand in them before now. <laughs> um, right, so I don't like to put um, a turning gap in a side seam because you can never get it to look perfect. So I'm going to undo some of the stitches across this side here. And I'm going to make a hole that we can stuff it with. So let's just... Oh, come on. These unpickers are normally so quick to use, aren't they? Until everyone's watching you do it. <laughs> I hope that's it. Otherwise, we've just got a hole in it. Let's get in there. So I'm just going to make a, a small gap. There we go. That was a big gap. Um, so that I can turn it the right side out and get some toy filler inside it. Um, right, let's turn this through. Little white oblong square at the side of pickies at the bottom. Right, hang on a minute. Little white oblong square. <gasps> Thank you! Gosh, I must seem really dim. Submitted by Brenda, thank you. And submitted by Cynthia, hi Cynthia. And this one is Cabini, hi Cabini. I can actually see the bottom of the pictures as well. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> Honestly, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think I was very technical. Oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Woo. <laughs> Let's get you back again. Hang on a minute. Here we go. <laughs> Every day's a school day. I snipped a little bit wide on this one. I'm going to have a little bit of a hand sewing to do. Let me poke out the bottom. I can find something to poke it with. That will do. No, that one will do. Just push out the point. I know, Gina. <laughs> After all those messages I got there, you must have been shouting at your screens. <laughs> yeah, I just thought um, there's, there's going to be a back to this. So, um, Diane. So that's, that's where that's going to go. I've just made the hole a little bit big because I put the seam ripper in it went woo. So it might, um, yeah, it's okay. Just a bit more hand sewing to do. Then I've got some toy filler down here. Rather a lot, but you know, and I'm just going to stuff it as tightly as I can. Uh, Lorraine's received fabric. Looking forward to making a makeup bag and baby quilt. Lovely. Got lots of new fabric coming up in the next couple of weeks. Late coffee? 
It's been commented on already. Oh, is it? Anybody yes. else? No, don't ask. Don't ask. You know they're all on the gin this morning. Your dog's waiting loyally outside for you. Is she? <laughs> Thank you. Right, so I'm just pushing that in there. I get a coffee. Oh, I just move that out of the way. So I don't knock it over. And let's just stuff it. Okay, make, make a little hole at the back to put your stuffing in. And I want it tight enough so I push out all of the wrinkles in the seams. Um, try clicking on the picture first, then the button suddenly popped up on mine. Thank you for all of your hints and tips there. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think it was my website, would you? <laughs> um, put pins in it to stop it ripping. That's a good idea, Tina. I should have done that. Putting pins in to stop it ripping too far. I think that should just about do it. And then we'll have a needle and thread and hand sew the opening closed. You're fussy about your needles. There are some needles I like and some needles I don't. I don't like betweens and I don't like tiny little needles. Oh, that's a nice one. I like sharps, so I like them to be quite thin and I like a round eye. Some needles have got long eyes and I like round eyes. So that the longer the better, the thinner the better, and the rounder the eye the better. Do you find that you have a favourite needle? Gary used to take the mickey out of me. He can't have a favourite needle. I do have a favourite needle. I was devastated when I lost it. Right, let's do that. And that. Um, don't tempt me with more gorge fabrics. Diane, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to tempt you. Um, we've got a delivery expected in about half an hour from the Netherlands. So we've got some beautiful back in stock fabric coming in as soon as we can get it on the website. Anne's fussy about her needles. It'd be a good idea to make the skirt up in cotton lawn first before making it a crepe machine as it might slip about less. That's, yeah, that's a good idea actually, Deirdre. Somebody be, then we, don't, we don't get noise in the village out here and somebody's actually beeping their horn. If you heard that, I'll, I'll go and give them a talking to later. Um, a needle with a round eye. Needle, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh, that's me iron gone again. That's the needle I like. Let me see how I can... Close I can get without going out of focus. That's my favourite kind of needle. Um, now with this, I'm just folding that over. And I'm just using a slip stitch. Whoops. So this is rather a big hole just to sew the opening closed. I'll carry on doing that while we have a chat because it might take me a while because it's such a big hole. Normally I like a bit of hand sewing though. The gold coated, yeah I like, I like the gold coated ones as well Helen. They, uh, they're supposed to help the, th the thread run more smoothly through them aren't they? Um, when I have to leave an opening for turning, I mock the pattern and leave the step. That's a good idea as well, V. Thank you. I love it when you, you give us tips like that. You, you never know everything, do you? There's always something to learn. Or the, the way that different people work. You could be making a project that's exactly the same as somebody else's project, but you'll, you'll find that um, different people use different techniques. So it's always interesting to see what other people do. And if there's anything that we can do to improve because there's always always room for always room for improvement always room for improvement on the way that i'm talking this morning because my words need, need to be all over the place um we have yes we've got shops on the website ellen um i think they're in different needle sizes as well i think they're prim ones i can't remember off the top of my head without looking but yes if you look under needles we do have the needles on the website uh, Rosina had fabric hearts in little plant pots and decorated with embroidery on gloves. Oh, that's a nice idea. From your wedding dress. Oh, what a lovely idea. So if you have your, your wedding and your bridesmaid dress is made, there's bound to be some leftover fabric. Uh, don't forget to ask for that. Um, you're right, Mary. Every day is a school day. There's always something to learn. I'm nearly there with this. Let's so to pull that a bit tighter. Whoops. 
I'd, I'd do smaller stitches normally, but um, you're going to be pulling your hair out watching me doing this. And you go there. I won't forget the coffee, Amanda. It's a little bit hot at the moment. And that will do. So I'll just tie that off in a knot. You're right, V. Never too, never too old to learn. Ow. Oh. Never taught to learn not to stick needles in your, in your thumb. Granddaughter sat watching me. We're going to make some hearts. I do have my favourite scissors and no one else is allowed to use them. I have favourite scissors. Even out of all the pairs of these that I've got, I do have a favourite out of all of them. I don't know why, because they're all the same. Uh, Lisa knitted a cat yesterday. Oh, coming from you. Oh, your kit knitters. Lisa, sorry. She kitted out a cat yesterday coming from Ukraine with its owner. Poor cat had nothing. Um, it has everything now. We donated all the stuff. Cat arrives tomorrow, we hope. Oh, you forget about what happens with the animals, don't you? There must be so many pets that have lost their, their owners. Sad. Um, <laughs> Andrea, I couldn't bear a wee toddy in my coffee. It's like, bleh, horrible. Uh, they're going to be a waistcoat designed by Kim. There was... Um, we were, we were both working on it, actually, because it was really difficult. It was going to be a waterfall waistcoat. And we couldn't, we couldn't do it without a pattern, Laura, at the end of the day. We, we, we spent a few weeks trying to do that. Because, um, again, at the, mo at the moment, we don't have patterns on the Half Yard Club um, for clothing um, because it would take um, a professional pattern drafter to do that, and we're not. Um, maybe next year, something that we're looking at. Um, so it, it was that trying to explain to somebody. It's quite simple if you make something for yourself, I think, because you know your measurements, you know how you want it to fit, and you can make it fit. But when you're designing for a range of figures from maybe a size 6 to a size 30, um, it's how to make that particular garment fit everybody, from somebody that's very small to somebody that's a, a little bit larger. Um, and it, it's... I couldn't figure it out. So, yeah, there should have been a waistcoat, but we, um, we gave up on that one. That was when we had the skirt instead. Um, the hospital gave me a splint. Oh, Caroline, hope you're all right. Wendy's made a velvet clutch bag for a friend's wedding today. How lovely. I'm just going to put my glue gun on. And we'll get um, these pebbles stuck. The, the way that I do the stick in the bottom now it's all nicely stuffed I'll just plug this in because it takes a, a few minutes to warm up and put it on a scrap piece of paper or something because they tend to dribble um, and I'm just going to unpick so I'm looking messy again now aren't I? unpick a few stitches from the very bottom here I found it easier to unpick the stitches rather than to leave a gap because I, my stuffing was coming out when I did that. So just unpick a few stitches in the bottom until you've got a hole that is big enough to push your stick into. So I need to make that a little bit bigger. And we're going to glue that on anyway as well. Um, so let's get in here and unpick those stitches. The fabric's a little bit thick um, in the bottom because of all of the, the layers when we were sewing them together. So you may have to try a few times to unpick that and then shove in your stick. Like so. Um, I did some new glue sticks in that one as well. There we go. Right, just waiting for that to heat up a little bit. Um, Jean tried a waterfall jacket with a pattern and it didn't turn out right. I need to unpick. Oh, we'll work on that one. Have you any to share? Is somebody cooking? Um, the brother dealer. Oh, chatting amongst yourself. I love it when you chat amongst yourselves. Um, and the pa yeah, Mike, not as not as bad as it was last week, Maggie. But um, but getting there now. Thank you. Um, Connie says if she had more space, I'd have a zip. Oh, the same. I'd have at least another three dogs. 50th and 51st foster cats Lisa has. Two elderly chaps called Tommy and Tango. Oh. Um, so my PM is a genuine link. No. So was that on Facebook? I don't pick up my messages every day on Facebook, I'm afraid. I, I, I get so many. Um, 
uh, particularly after we've done a live, there's just pages and pages of them. So I do miss messages, just waiting for that to heat up. I'm not just waving my heart around. Um, and it's a sad, YouTube, oh, I find it very difficult to keep up on YouTube. And I've said before, I have over um, 400 YouTube videos. And when you go onto the portal to check uh, messages, all of the messages for all of the videos all come up in a big long list. And I know I miss them because there's every day there's pages and pages. So, um, yeah, sorry. Sorry if I missed your messages, if I don't reply. I know I've, people have got really annoyed with me before now. You messaged me yesterday and hadn't had a, a reply yet. I don't see them. Um, what sort of stick? This, you could use a skewer. Might be a little bit thin. These are craft sticks that I bought from... Um, hobby craft there's quite a big bundle of them they're eight inches long you could use some very narrow doweling you could use a chopstick um, but yeah that's that's what I've used there I think we should be heated up now so I'm just going to put I'm going to pull the stick out a bit put a little drizzle of glue around the edge I'm going to tie a bow there and then just push it back in again a little bit so we've got that so I'm going to leave that to dry for a second and Let's put some pebbles in here. Was that really noisy? I do apologise. So let's have a, a little bit of glue in the bottom. And do stick these down because um, <laughs> they rattle around all over the place if you don't. So we'll put a couple in there. And then stick in the middle. And let's build this up around the edge. smaller one. Oh, oh no that's okay little one that's a nice one little one in there and then another little drizzle I know you can't say exactly what I'm doing there because you're straight on top but I'm basically oops trying to do too much with only two hands when I could I could use four hands actually so let's pop that in there so pebbles in the bottom, that's in the middle. Give that a couple of seconds to dry. It doesn't take very long. And then just keep... I've put some more glue on top of that, actually. And just keep going with the glue. And I do like using the hot glue for things like this because it's, it's strong, but it dries really quickly. So I'm not waiting for ages before I can finish it. That's looking good. And then I've just got a few more I can stick on the top. Now again with this one, I use buttons. So I did fill it up with pebbles first. There's pebbles in the bottom. Um, and then I've got some red, white and blue buttons. So I just scattered those all over the top. But uh, ran out of buttons, which is why we're having just pebbles that are spray painted white on this one. I tell you what would look nice as well. Um, I haven't actually got it to hand here. Um, Whoops, I've pulled some moss out of our lawn. In fact, our lawn is moss. There's very little grass there, it's moss. It's lovely, it's ever so bouncy. Um, and I pulled some moss out and dried it. That would look nice if you're making something that's a little bit more rustic, um, to just glue some moss around the bottom. Or if you've got any little beads or anything like that, then that's, that's quite a nice idea. So that's, that's that, so that's nice and sturdy and it's dry now as well because it dries so quickly. And then you have the pleasure of picking off all of these little strands of glue. Very satisfying. Um, then my ribbon. I've got, I've got red ribbon and rickrack for this one. Red ribbon and rickrack. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do a bow for this one, I think. And have a sip of coffee before it does go cold. All kinds of cat signs. My friend just bought one for me. Oh, cat people. A floral fur. Yes, um, that's what I did in the book, actually, um, Trisha. Let me just double check. Let me show you. Page 48. That's a, that's a buttons over it. Floris Oasis. We, we called it but yeah that's what's in the bottom of those plant pots um, and again I spray painted those and I decorated the top with beads and buttons on all of those um, but again if you wanted to I mean, pebbles are quite nice because they tend to be free because you find them on the side of the road and invariably in your garden um, 
but you need to paint them. Well, you don't need to paint them. It depends if they match your fabric or not. You could just have them own naturel, I suppose. Um, oh, thank you, Cab Cabsikins. <laughs> I've just been busy this week. Oh, oh, thank you, Lisa. Appreciate that. Got some more stuff for you. Um, my favourite pick in the gloves. I know, I know you can use a heat um, gun and just blast it all away, but I'm picking it. Um, my grand dog Toby went to, oh no, fish tanks, oh fish tanks, fish tanks, fish tanks would be a good idea, um, okay, let's do the bow, so make a loop, make another loop and tie them, I know I've showed you this before, if you do a, a bow in the regular way, when you've got a printed ribbon, you end up with the back of the ribbon on one part and the front of the ribbon on the other, and then a job to try and twist all of this around and make it look anything because you need the print on both sides. Um, so we make a loop on one side and a loop on the other and tie those two loops together. And then you end up with a bow that's even on both sides that really small and then there's just this one that I need to turn around so I get the print on on all sides I didn't need to do that like that so I'm going to make that nice and tight chop it off I might do it a little bit smaller actually Like so, and I know I've unplugged that, but it's still hot. And that is going to go right just there. And then I'm going to put rick, rick rack around here. I'm not going to use the glue gun to put the rick rack around here. I'm going to use my um, Gutterman, um, because you'll find if you use your glue gun and you make a, a strip, some of it dries quicker than the other, and when you put your ribbon or whatever it is on top, you get lumps in it where it's dried. So here I find it easier to, um, so I'm just missing your messages, um, to use a wet glue instead. Um, yes, Lisa, I am back on Wednesday at four o'clock, and we're going to be doing bias binding. So that'll be how to cut, how to join, and how to apply by machine, or by hand, or both, and mitering corners, I think we shall do on Wednesday. All right, and then I'll have the join at the back, and wrap that around there. Now, because you can paint these pots in any colour you like. Um, you could add as many rows of ribbons and bows as you wanted to, so you can decorate to your heart's content. Um, maybe do some hand painting on there. Could be um, maybe some glitter paint or put some gems on there. Depends how fussy you want the whole thing to be. But that basically is another one done. A little bit longer than that one, isn't it? I must have pushed that one inside the heart further. But I think. I, th I, no, I, did, I, I did that deliberately because they actually look quite nice at different heights, don't they? Shouldn't have admitted that. Um, but yeah, decorate those to your heart's content, so just carry on going with them. But as a centrepiece for a table, whether you're having you know, a street party for the Jubilee or you're celebrating Independence Day or Bastille Day or what, whatever day in your country that you celebrate, then you can use your appropriate country's uh, colours. Otherwise, they're just nice ornaments, aren't they, in any kind of fabric. It doesn't have to be um, three different colours. It doesn't have to be your, your, your country's colours or anything like that. You can make them however you like. Tell you what would be nice as well, to put a little bit of potpourri or lavender or um, whether you're using fabric to stuff these with or your toy filler, you could put a few drops of um, your favourite essence in there as well and make them, make them centred. That would be a nice idea. Uh, Chris thinks I need to make some of these. Not sure where I'm going to find the time. I know the feeling, Chris. Um, thank you, Brenda. Linda's going to make some of the hearts on a string. Yep, yeah, same idea. That would make really nice heart bunting, wouldn't it? If you, um, if you made the hearts up and if you've got a doll needle, 
not got one to hand, but one of the really long needles um, and use something like a crochet or embroidery thread or a very fine string or baker's twine um, and just threaded them all on. That would look really nice, wouldn't it? Mm. Um, crushed wall. Oh, that's a good idea. Crushed walnuts inside and toys and toy stuffing as pin cushions. That's a nice idea. I don't know if I don't know if it'd be sturdy enough as a pincushion on the stick like that. I think I'd, I'd like a I like a solid pincushion myself. Um, but you could just use the hearts. Um, 140 centimeter wide lawn. Yes, it will be. Um, and you need at least 130 centimeters for the skirt. So 140 will be absolutely fine. Um, thank you, Susan. Since getting married at the end of the month, I wonder if I could use a version of this project to make table signs. If you actually, that's a nice idea because you can actually write on them. I mean, if you've got an embroidery machine or you've got letters on your um, sewing machine, you could you could stitch names on them. Um, but otherwise, if you get a fabric pen, you can just write names onto the white. But that's a lovely idea. Um, <laughs> I don't know, Deirdre. I don't know at the moment. Um, if I'm going to be showing some new fabrics tomorrow, it depends if I can get them unpacked and onto the website in time. Um, I'll maybe give you lavender or citronella, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, lavender or citronella, if you're having these on your table, Rosina says, to keep the flies away. Um, I'll maybe give you a bit of notice next time, maybe half an hour if I'm going to pop up, so I'm, I'm not sure at the moment. Uh, thank you, Elsie. Um, and Jane, thank you. Oh, greetings, darling, to you, Zakaya. Um, ribbon could be used if you find fabrics in short. Yep, you could use ribbon, that would be a nice idea. Whatever you've got, really. You could crumb quilt them. Remember we made the, um, the crumb quilt um, cushion cover for Half Yard Club? You could use that technique and just use tiny scraps of fabric. Um, I'll stay close to the laptop just to <laughs> I was thinking this morning, actually, Lisa, I'll drop you an email next time <laughs> before we go live so I'm not, uh, not making you jump. Um, glow in the dark thread for really good effects. That's a nice idea, Joe. To label food food plates at the buffet table. That's a good one. Have a go, but thanks as always. Oh, have to go. Um, yeah, I'm going as well, Maggie. Um, I noticed you do not fold the fabric diagonally to make the skirt. No, Carol, I explained that as well um, in in the instructions. I found that. <sighs> By the time I'd figured out where to fold the fabric to make the most of it, um, I, I found it quite. I found it easier to actually draw the whole pattern out in one big. If you can fold the fabric, that's fine. Um, but I found it easier to actually place the pattern physically because then I could use one piece upside down um, with a non-directional fabric, and I, to fold it like that, I, I found quite difficult. And when you've got fabric like a viscose that tends to spill or the crepe machine that I used with the roses on it, um, folding it, I, I didn't feel it was as accurate as just laying everything out completely flat. But if you can fold, that, that's, that's absolutely fine. Uh, do I keep tie, tie fabric straight but twist the pattern itself? Yes. So your fabric is straight, you're selvaged down each side like this, your pattern goes on at a 45 degree angle. But again, you can put the pattern that way, flip it over and then put it that way, but it needs to be at the 45 degree. Um, Thank you, Angela. Hello, Annick. Um, I have to watch back as I missed in the vets. Oh, not another one in the vets. Oh, you're in the vets. Linda, how'd they get on? Um, mind you, I'm going now. Let me know next time. P-Touch printer for place settings. Use ribbon tape. That's, yep, Karen, brilliant. Um, Wednesday. Wednesday, we're doing bias binding, so I'm not actually going to make a physical project but I'm going to cut bias binding, join bias binding, um, apply bias binding, and um, mitre corners. So I, I, I think that'll, that'll fill up the hour. Um, thank you, Fiona. Thank you, Brenda. Um, okay, then so I shall see you again Wednesday if you're around at uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Don't forget, I'm not sure if we've got any left. If you wanted to order Monday Shores fabric, please do it quickly I think you'd have let me know if it had sold out so we're probably going to be all right for a bit um, we do have more on order we know it's going to sell out so well done you if you've got hold of yours today Henry it's Henry glass fabric and it's designed by Mandy Shaw um, 
we were one of the first to, to actually be able to launch it as well, which is really something quite special. I did show you all the way through all of these right at the beginning and including the panel as well. Um, right at the beginning so if you've just joined us later on I just wanted to give you a quick reminder of the new fabrics that we have so excited about these love Mandy Shaw um, and don't forget if you're a member of the half yard club you get your 10% discount so remember to put your member discount in the coupon box as you check out so enjoy those um, I shall see you again Wednesday with bias binding if I, don't, if I don't see you Wednesday, we're back again next Saturday here at eleven o'clock in the morning. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. I hope you're all I hope you're all well and thank you for joining me today. It's been a pleasure to have you company. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.